Hi folks, here's more of the best games from the Ludum Dari 47 Game Jam, all on the theme of Stuck in a Loop. Check the playlist for more in the series, and if you enjoy all my coverage on Randomised User, you can buy me a coffee using the link in the description. First game is Cycle of Palmers, where you have to buy low and sell high as you loop around the island. Uh, this is a score attack in one player, or you can play competitive in two. Oh, okay, so I really want to go for a sale. Um, just to make sure that we do get the buy the goods and the cheapest possible things. Um, everyone's wanting goods at the moment, but I've got nothing to sell other than fish. Okay. Oh, the sale's gone. Bloody hell. I'm, I'm not doing well at all here. I haven't got anything to buy. Let's just buy something. Let's buy some milk. Oh, it's gone up in price. I don't want to buy too much. Every time you buy stuff, it goes up in price, which means not good things. There's been no sales. And nowhere to sell fish or milk for a decent price. Oh, actually, there is. Bottom right. Oh, there's a sale bottom left. Okay, let's go down to the bottom right. Let's sell the milk. That's made a little bit of profit. No, okay, let's go for the sale quick. There's also some fish. Let's buy as much as we can, or at least before it starts to get not worth it. Oh, bloody hell, the, um, the fish is gone, and I've got no room in my inventory to buy any more. Um, maybe I'll get rid of the fish, because who cares? Um, okay, get rid of you. We haven't actually gained anything there. Right, so we've got um, toy ball and yarn to sell, so let's try and get round to the yarn. Everything's cat-themed, which is rather cool. Okay. Oh, that was the wrong thing! It was actually the yarn I was supposed to be selling. Damn it. Okay, they t the controls take a, get, 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 take a little bit of getting used to, I have to admit. So I've only got a toy ball at the moment, so maybe we should buy some booties. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's probably not worth it. We really will have to get some um, demand items, otherwise we're not going to make a profit. Um, the boots! The boots! Let's just go for the boots! I don't care about the sales right now. Okay. Right, sell, 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 sell. Right, let's go for this. Let's go for more boots. Oh! Ugh. Yeah, that'll do. They need wood and they need toy things. Um, it's best not to just buy things randomly, otherwise you will lose money, so I'm, I'm being a bit cautious. Add a second player into the mix and of course things get very chaotic indeed. I'm trying to meet my previous high score of 362. At the moment I'm very much doing that, so I may as well just cycle around the island. In fact, let's just sell this, because we may as well. We may as well get a la the last few quid, and we've got one second left, and bingo! Um, I breached 500 quid! Excellent stuff! So that's beaten my high score, and three, yeah, 519, that ain't bad at all. Uh, I think the best, the, really, you've got to be a bit lucky, you've got to um, try and find an item where you can buy shitloads of them, and then have them um, like be in demand, otherwise you'll sell them for pretty much what you um, paid for them. But yeah, this is really cool, um, and yeah, I really want to try this in two-player as well, because I think that'll get incredibly frantic. This is Fort Loop! Uh, this is by the same dev as who made Sabotage in um, previously with Dari, which was brilliant. Also worked on Dead Cells. So this is a puzzle platformer, where you kind of get stuck in a loop, and well, we'll see that, because oh, we haven't quite got to that bit. Um, attacking in this game is automatic, so we don't need to actually fight anyone. Right, see those torches? And when those torches turn off, the whole castle loops back in time, and things get reset, so we are now stuck. And we have to make sure that we complete the diamond before that happens, so let's quickly just go round. Let's go and wait here. And loops loop around again. Okay, so let's rush off this time, because we have such limited time. Some deja vu feeling. Quick, 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 quick. In there we go. And we've completed that particular level. This one is impossible. So already we are starting to get into hot platforming puzzle action. And so we need to essentially get the, um, the diamond on the left to the hole on the right, but we have to get through two locked doors. Well, that's fairly simple, turns out. You just have to go in here, and then we have to wait for it to reset, because... And it means we can, we can actually get out of this locked door if we do that. So, here we go. And everything's reset, and that door, now on the right, has remained open, cleverly enough. And that mesh at the top, you can go through that, but you can't take the diamond with you. And another level complete. Boing, boing. Hello! You can keep those, I have plenty of them. Right, get rid of you. Get rid of you. So I'm basically a thief. Ugh. You're not really looking for my diamonds, right? Yes, I am. Right, so what have we got here then? Oh, we've got two lads. Again, I don't have to fight them, it just automatically happens. Oh, hello, we have to be quick. We're about to reset. And you will notice that when you do reset, anything, any diamonds that you've d dealt with keep over. So that's one thing that doesn't reset, which is handy for solving puzzles like that. Uh-oh. Guards! Guards! Tonk, 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 key, go. Off we go. <laughs> Mate. I love this story in this as well as anything else. It's... Really quite cool. I don't know what that. I don't know what that um, green anus is. We'll, we shall soon see because I haven't done this level before. Uh, the green anus is still there. Grab. Oh. 
Uh, I d did that by mistake, but it seemed to have done something really useful. What's going to happen now? Oh, oh, a duplicator. Oh, that that changes stuff. Okay, hang on. We may not have... Fuck. I did it again. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Okay, so this time I'm going to wait up here. It's going to spit out the key. There we go. This is more like it. Perfect. Don't forget to actually throw the diamond into the thing, otherwise it don't work. Oh, mate! Oh, mate! Ooh, kill you. Um, Can we take the key through the... I don't think we can. No, we can't. Hmm. Huh! There we go, that's more like it. So the only th question is, how do we get this one? I suppose we have to do it from the platform below, don't we? But we'll also need the key. Tonk, 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 tonk. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> Almost died. Almost fell down. Now, so hopefully... Oh, you little turd! Right, this time I'll wait here. Oop. Wait. There. Ha! Ha-ha! Tricked you all. I did it. <laughs> so yes, this is really rather cool. It's a very, very well implemented, and I, I'm liking this a lot. This is Looper! Little pricks. <laughs> okay, so I'm stuck on the loop. Let's follow the track, get the stars, and then we'll complete the level. Ooh! Nice. So starting simple, we'll get complicated very soon. Good old switcheroo! So now we need to press Z, or space, to switch tracks. Uh, collect everything quite nicely. It's, it's again one of those games where you have to wrap your head around the controls because if you press right, you go with the flow, and if you press left, you don't. So you've got to, when you switch, you've got to work out mentally which way you're going to go when you press the the right button. So there, I for instance, I just buggered it up a little bit. So let's try and go. Oh, let's get that star first. Go around here. Go back the way we came, and carry. Oh no. Oh. There. Oh. Now, turning the table. Ooh. Okay. Let's get to the end of that. Then let's not. Ooh. <laughs> oh. And switch. Switch. And back. Perfect. Again, it's another one of these games where I just love the aesthetic. It's just so clean. Wonderfully designed. Oh, God. Okay, stay away from the pricks. It's canon that they are called pricks, which is very pleasing. Ooh! Ooh did, oh, oh, I can't believe I did that. I was, I was doing surprisingly well. It didn't feel that tough a level. And then I buggered it up like a maniac. There we go. Let's try that again. Switch. Oh, you little... Nasty. So I'm trying to stay out of their reach a bit more this time. Rather than try to be clever. Oh, didn't quite get the switch there. Right. Wait for it. Go back. Perfect. <sighs> okay, last level we'll do on this. Um, stay positive. No. Yeah, that's actually quite... Ooh, no. <laughs> I did not go the right direction, really, but it's all fine. That's actually easy, this one. Unless I do that! I knew I'd do that. I knew I'd bloody well do that. My brain can't cope with thinking in more than one dimensions. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, here we go. One... Here we go. Go. Very good. Left. There we go. Much more like it. And I am successful. Just about. This is Gunworm. This is a clever little cross between snake and a shooter. You start out small and piddly, but very soon... Oh god! Very soon we'll be able to obliterate things with um, a very long snake and a lot of power-ups. So I've got to do this within the time limit. I've got to clear enough enemies. It's random as well. I can... When you restart, now I've suddenly got all these horrible spooky lads. Ooh, careful. Who are possibly my least favourite. Ooh, there we go. Gained body part, shotgun. Excellent stuff. Yes, look at that. Right. Oh, turrets. Oh, I've been destroyed. My end is gone. Is this the end of Snakey Poos? It's okay. All clear. Bonus body part again. And now we ascend. Uh, select an augmentation. Boosting into a wall sends out a shockwave of bullets. Or gain an additional main cannon projectile. Okay, let's do that. Now, let me show you the boost. It's on cooldown, this, but... Yeah, you can only do it every so often. Oh my god, okay, so now I'm a bit more powerful. Still gotta be careful though. Follow the arrows. Ooh! Ooh! And you can't kill enemies when they're in. They're like, they're, when they're fading in because they are invincible then. I am starting to. Ooh! Ooh! ooh careful! careful. Ooh! Don't loot round into that! Ooh! 
Right, so where have we got? We've still got a few more enemies to clear yet. Oh, it's... It, it, oh, oh, okay, we've got to get through his shield, but... Now we've actually powered up a bit, that's a lot easier. Try to use the ricochet to your benefit as well, just so you're not putting yourself in danger, which I just did. Because, yeah, the looping does take a bit of getting used to, which is all to the good. Okay, all clear, bonus body part. We've gained a saw. I think I need to get larger, though. There we go. Now I'm large. I'm large and in charge. Right, where are you all? Don't be around there. I think some of this is homing, so... Yeah, he, he died and blew up, so that's all good. Some of this stuff is destructible, as you can see. Just dash past that, because I want to get away from him. Oh, hang on. Oh, there we go. There's the dash. The dash is a bit fiddly to do sometimes. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh, ah. Okay, let's just shoot backwards. Hopefully we'll get him. We did, but I think I got Tonks. Um, a different enemy. Oh, oh. Okay, now, now things are starting to go a little wrong for us. I'm putting myself in too much danger here, aren't I? And also just not dodging. <laughs> ah, no, no, no. Okay. Right, so we're on round five now. Bonus body part again. Are we getting a new one? Yes, we are ascending and we're getting augmentation. Start future ascensions with more parts. Oh, let's do, let's do this one. Boosting into a wall sends out a shockwave. So if I can try to get that done. Oh, yeah, there we go. Although that's incredibly hard to use. So um, we may not be doing that. Oh, some new lads. Oh, dear. Okay, I need to actually go and get you, don't I? To make sure that things spawn. Over here. That's not the way. So these are the exploders, so I've got to be careful. Little bomb thing going off when they die. Let's try and get, make our way through here, that's more like it. Ow! Ooh! I was not careful then. Let's get away from you. <laughs> Can't get through the bloody wall. Right, how much have we got? We're almost there, I think. Although, hang on. Still haven't actually quite worked out the bottom left part of the HUD yet, whether that means you're on the second part of this round. Or the th oh no, that's it. We've moved on to the third part, so we still need to clear three more waves um, within the within the time limit. That was that was just stupid. Oh, and you. Nothing there? Oh, I've already got rid of that somehow. I wasn't even paying attention. Come on, we've got two more things to go. Ooh, that's took a while. Let's get out of there. Too late. What are they? Oh! I don't know, but they're clammy. I'm also really weak and piddly now. So I... Ooh. I'm being chased by these horrible turd things. Dash out of there. A bit of shockwave action. In fact, now I'm this small, that's... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I was going to say, now I'm, now I'm small, that shockwave thing is probably my best um, defence. Unfortunately, uh, it wasn't good enough. <laughs> and finally, we have a short look at Jazz It Up. Now, this isn't really so much of a game, but it is like a cool little musical tool. I love the animation and the music in this. Essentially, I'm playing the music, apart from the drums. So I, if I press um, WRE... I start the bear doing the piano, and if I press OMP, I can get the tortoise to play some chords. And if I press space, we have some um, double bass action going on. Uh, so you can just do what you want really, but occasionally it will sort of spotlight one of the characters and you're, it, it's intended that you do a solo here, but again, you don't really have to. You can do it to the music, or you can go completely offbeat and be a maniac and do some free jazz weirdness. So you try to do it all at once if you want. I'm not doing it very musically, though, to the beat. It's quite tricky doing them all at once. So sometimes, yes, it is nice to play something that isn't just like a, um, a fast-paced game. Sometimes just enjoy yourself, get stuck in the loop of music, and chill out. And try and play better than me. <laughs> Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, check out my Buy Me A Coffee if you enjoyed it, and want to say thanks and help the channel do better. And check out the Ludum Dari 47 playlist for more in this series. And as usual, do subscribe to Randomized User for larks and that. I'll see you next time. <laughs>